today, Apple unveiled tons of new software, including an all new, fully redesigned iOS 10. Here are the highlights. In iOS 10, Apple has added more features to your lock screen. You can swipe right to launch the camera, swipe left to see your widgets, and even look at the lock screen without touching your phone. As always, a top-down swipe opens your notification center, which has been completely redesigned and looks more like the notification screen on your Apple Watch. Moving on to your home screen, 3D Touch shortcuts will bring more information by allowing apps to show live details in the 3D Touch pop-up. An update we've all been waiting for, with iMessage apps, third-party developers can help add emojis, animations, and other media into your convos. Simply open the app drawer to interact with other apps within Messenger. Users can now send each other rich links with music and videos playing directly in the conversation. This new functionality ranges from silly sticker apps like Mickey Mouse GIFs to more sophisticated integrations like paying friends with SquarePay or collaboratively ordering food with DoorDash. There has also been a big overhaul to the Photos app in iOS 10. Apple is making it easier to find and group your images. The new Photos app groups your photo library into editable movie memories. Using local, on-device facial recognition and AI detection of what's in your images, it can combine photos and videos into themed mini-movies, complete with transitions and a soundtrack. Maps has been redesigned, adding proactive suggestions, a new turn-by-turn -turn look, and is now open to third-party developers. Siri has also seen some major updates in iOS 10. You can now use Siri to navigate, asking Siri to open and interact with apps, send a message, and Siri even suggests answers like your current location or your contact information. Last but not least, Apple showed off a brand new version of Apple Music, which the company said was built from the ground up with simplicity in mind. In an effort to make things less confusing, the first screen you see is your library broken into two sections, music store locally and streaming tracks. Apple Music's new, now playing screen is much less cluttered. It includes lyrics, a new personalized discovery mix, and a radio tab that streams Beats One. Today marked potentially the last time Apple will bring a phone-wide software redesign to the masses, Apple has unbundled its native apps like Mail, Maps, Music, and more and put them in the App Store. This means these apps will be updated more often instead of only when there's a major iOS release, allowing for quicker updates and the ability to add new features, fix bugs, address security issues, and make other changes as needed.